superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <sighs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Okay. Oh shit. The foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. Yeah. Sorry. Being around memories of Gabe was making you so sad. I wanted to help. You did. I'm just surprised. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, Let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. How do these birdwashing In even your work? face, Who's Ryan Lucan. I'm Birder of the Year, and your reign you is finished. Uh oh. Better not tell Ryan I had a hand in that. Time for your bath. If I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. We'll catch up later. To be fair, isn't that high a bar? Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Mmm, appetizing. felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh, well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Sorry, work calls. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? Be a long night tonight. All 
always is. Same thing every year. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Hey, Ducky. Is everything okay? Of course. I've never felt better. Okay. Glad to hear it. Ducky almost hustled me out of my first paycheck. Good thing Jed stepped in. While you're at work. You're kidding. You already got to Verdant Cliffs. Charlotte must be getting ready for the LARP. Hey, getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey. Yeah. Trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Sorry. Let's talk later. What the hell am I gonna do with a jacket that says Hell Divers on the back? Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it, like the rest of us are gonna do. You think I want to broadcast my affiliation with you jokers to the rest of the world? I got a reputation. If she's hiding something, I need to find out what it is. For Gabe. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. does workshopping mean exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up. Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. <sighs> now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, alright? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. I'm genuinely worried that these were the best ideas you had. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. Go with Steph. Badass DJ? It's a no-brainer. Sorry, Ryan. Fuck yes. In your face. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the... the effort. But we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? You know all I want is justice for my brother. Please. Help me. assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let 
me try and read her first. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She said. If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Oh, such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. Diane seems really put together, but inside... She's just as much a mess as the rest of us. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. deal. 
I'm sorry? Are you single? Semi-single? Taken, but still down to get drunk and make out? Whoa. <laughs> Was not expecting that at all. Um... Am I blushing? I feel like I'm blushing. <laughs> no. You're cool as a cucumber. <laughs> That's good. I'm so flattered. I don't even know what to say. Hey, no, no sweat. Just think about it. Get back to me. I'm not going anywhere. See ya. chance that you awoke something in Diane. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I know I'm cracking up, but that was legit terrifying. I hope it was worth the risk. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? Is the guitar really necessary? What? How can you be a bard without a guitar? The bard's whole job is to musically regale people. Well then, prepare to be regaled. So, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right. I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions. Ducky said this would help me feel at home. I'll have to take his word for it. I know this is Ethan's copy, but I'm level 73 and I'm not stopping. I found some really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. Of course, I'm investing all my tips into expanding my record collection. to say where Gabe ends and I begin. 
is a seam somewhere. I see it most in Steph and Ryan. In my mind, when we're all together, I can imagine him in my place, and I can watch the scene unfold like a spectator for a life I barely knew. Or, if I choose instead, I can forget about Gabe and just accept, however improbably, that Steph and Ryan care about me for my own sake, for no other reason. I think I know which one Gabe would prefer. of choice. Okay, let me grab my hat. roommate I've ever had. I still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. Leave it to me to wreck Gabe's bike on my first ride. At least Ryan had a good laugh about it. it was more than zero. So far, Ryan is the only one that uses this. Maybe I should just gift it to him. I haven't played for anyone else in years. That was a good night. I feel like I kept the hat in here. Only one way to find out. Huh. There it is. Half person, half dump truck. I feel you. I think I know where you go. Yeah. I don't need to know what that was for. Another one of Gabe's hidden cans. Dork. Steph knows how to LARP on a budget. I hope Ethan likes it. Oh, shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. 
you can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. help, don't you? Maybe I can clean you up a bit. Look, man, if you want to live here, you need to do your own dishes. This must have been Gabe's. That's a long list. And I bet he would have gotten through it. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh?
Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. Cheering up, or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... Steph's been planning this for days and days. She really cares about you. I do want to do this. It's just... been working so hard and if I'm not happy they'll all be disappointed must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun yeah especially my mom she always looks so sad because I'm like bummed out but I can't just pretend I thought pretending was the whole idea of this thing acting like you're someone else just for a little bit I guess the crazy thing is, sometimes, pretending you're having fun can trick you into actually having fun. Couldn't hurt to try. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Thanor, the Monster Slayer! Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, sure. That's a lot. Thanor slew them with a single shot. My goodness. You must be Thanor's bard, Alexandra, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But this hope, an ancient prophecy, describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. 
Yes. Good. Then you must go, now. My people are counting on you. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. This is... Kind of exciting. Wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. Healing serenade. Plus one health to us. this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. Sorry, Ryan. It was self-defense. How do we know for sure it's dead? Should we tickle it? Stop it. Be serious. I should probably drop in on Riley and thank her in person. supposed to be the one teaching you how to throw? Hey, kid. You responsible for that massacre in the Black Lantern? Whoa. There was a massacre? Better check it out. I'll be taking that. What is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh, could there be something down the alley? I bet there's something fun in the wreck. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. That run felt amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Wow, good for her. Mind if I duck in here a second?
to talk to Riley about a real life thing. I promise I'll be quick. Sure, take your time. Hey there. <laughs> I could ask Riley how progress is going with the USB. There's a whole tech side to Riley I never knew about. Gabe did though. Any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours, if we're lucky. Oh. If you wanna check it out, it's running on the office computer, but don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And actually, it's kind of fun. I didn't realize you were so good with computers. Is that what you're going to school for? Civil engineering, or maybe robotics. It's a lot to figure out, kind of crazy. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about something else. I saw Eleanor at the Black Lantern this morning. <laughs> she probably needed a break from me. I've been nagging her all morning about getting one of those like medical alert buttons. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna be four hours away, and she's never lived alone before. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. <sighs> We're going through another rough spot. I'm leaving soon, and he's not taking it too well. Sorry. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again. Riley's like 300 pages in. Must be a good book. This is just so nice. For spring festival, these are freaking gorgeous. I will definitely not touch this. God, I took that bus here barely a month ago. Feels like it's been years. Sooner or later, Riley's gonna figure out Eleanor's secret. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. I 
wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. right there. Oh, 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 you like my belt? <laughs> it's made of human skin. <laughs> oh, what do you think we should do? How about some gold in exchange for your ruby? You got my attention? How much? One gold. Th that's it? I'll smash you to bits. Arr. Definitely Ryan under there, right? store. Oh there. I 
hear you've dealt with that nasty troll, eh? I nearly died of shock. It's really sweet how many people Steph's roped into this. Everything okay? You seem pretty, um, grumpy. I've forgotten the damn components of Sunsilver. Don't suppose you know the composition? We'll tell you. I won't hold my breath. Please knock twice. Go for it. Monster or mortal? Mortal! Come in. Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Oh, so this is like a magic shop. I'm gonna take a look around a bit, okay? Okay. Let's see what Steph's done to the place. I'd like to try one of those bard instruments, please. You'll need to schedule a private appointment. I'll do that. Oh, hey, Sunsilver. We should tell that blacksmith. Man, my dating life could have used a truth spell or two. As a classically trained bard, I gotta say, this music's not bad. He's forging the Sky Sword of Power. Oh, yeah? One day, Thanor's gonna find it. Golems. Animation fee not included. Oh, Steph. Spells. Very cute, Steph. Are these spells for sale? To members of the Sorcery Guild only. Sorry. That actually looks legit. It's a wonder Valkyrie's ever hungry. What, with all the human flesh I assume she consumes? I guess some heroes are into bards with flashy guitars, but I'm glad Thanor has better taste. Warning, cat is cursed. Do not pet. Yeah, no need to warn me. Seeking insight? Draw a card. Huh. What do I want insight about? Uh, what? You were right, Gabe. I'm a superhero. true for Ryan? I hope so. Holy shit. Too real. Yikes.
bet we're supposed to buy something here. The soul sapphire's right there. For sale. <laughs> Nimbleness is kind of a funny word. Thanks, Thanor. It's really insightful. Too bad we didn't have this back at the bridge. Do you think we'll run into any more trolls? I doubt it. They're pretty territorial. So, I can heal already with my music. Yeah. But the scroll heals us completely. And it cures poison and stuff like that. I like the scroll of advantage. It's kind of Thanor's style. 10,000 gold? Okay. Obviously, there's some other way to get this. Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but... No, I meant... Never mind. Maybe... Would you consider giving us that sapphire? In exchange for something far more valuable. My hand in marriage and all of its associated benefits. Uh, I mean, <laughs> oh man, this just got real. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued, but I'm afraid I can't accept. For now. We need the sapphire right away. It's for a quest to end the age of monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the river of sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales and I'll give you the sapphire in return. Side quest! Yeah. One gold, please. there's only going to be one troll. Okay, if you say so. We need to find more coins for that. still thinking about that tapestry. The bl- hmm. That alley goes to the river. Fish live in rivers. Shh, they're here. Woe is me. Woe is me. Behold, my love has been slain by yonder river monster. Where? Just down the... yonder... 
alley near the river. Alas, alas. Some kind of snake? I guess. Do we have to fight it? Why wouldn't we? I feel bad for it. It's just living its life. Being a snake. It eats people. It's gonna attack. What do you want to do? Hey, we're not here to hurt you. Oh well, it was worth a shot. healing. Thanor and I are restored to full health. All negative status effects removed. Stirring him. Double Thanor's next attack. Fire blast. Six damage ah. to you. <clears throat> Two to her. Damage. Strike of wrath. <clears throat> Three damage. <clears throat> Untuned cord. <clears throat> One damage. Spitting venom. <clears throat> Poisoned. Ow. Poison damage. <clears throat> Two damage. <sighs> Healing serenade. Plus one health to us. Damage. Ow. Poison damage. Untuned cord. <coughs> One damage. Let's make some ears bleed. Wait, what's that? I found the fish scale! Let's go back and trade it for the soul sapphire. Yeah! You bummed out we had to kill the snake? Shit. That didn't take long.
Okay. We handled the river. Magic fish scale. Impressive. Well, then here's my end of the bargain. Jewel left. Getting there. One gold, please. We need to find more coins for that. Black Lantern is part of the LARP. Whoa, what's that about? Looks like you dropped something, Diane. Wanna look in here? Yeah. Let's go in. Happened here. Fellow survivors, I see. Are you the bartender here? Nope. Monster ate all of the staff. We'll have to serve ourselves. Do you know what this key is for? Belong to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. Oh. So, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. Let's see what we can find around here. Steph really went all out in here. I wonder 
wonder if Alexandra the Bard would have cracked the tavern top 20. Okay, I think I checked all the compartments. Someone knows how to keep Thanor busy. Oh, hey, a coin. I want to focus on Ethan right now. What happened to the rest of the music? What happened to the rest of the music? Oh gosh, I think Ducky dropped this. Steph thought of everything. She's amazing at this. this if we got here earlier I doubt it we were probably talking to King Tabor when it happened yes want to tell him about our quest we're on a quest to end the Age of Monsters. So you won't have to live in fear anymore. Are you now? Let me give you something that you may find useful. Thanks. Figures. This would have been real useful back at the river. How did you survive the attack? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I tripped an elderly woman. She had a comment, stingy dish wench. We're gonna keep looking around. Good luck. feel bad for that person. Ugh, rough day for Barry the Tavern Keeper. So gorgeous. Where does Steph get all this stuff? Thanor! Did you see this? That's got to be it! found in that chest. Nice work, Thanor. All right, back to the park. There was some really interesting stuff in there.
appreciate We've still got coins. Should we spend them before we go back to the king? Good idea. Maybe we'll swing by the Emporium. One gold, please. All right, back to the park. with a ribbon that bright. Found a scroll? Yeah. Huh. Did Ethan drop this? Oh my god. It's my mom. <laughs> Thanor, the monster slayer, you've come at last. Do you remember me from your past adventures? You're Natheria, the forest spirit. You have done well on your quest. The forest notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look, there. What is that? sort of power. It's exactly the same as I drew in the comics. It's got the pincer and the same grip. And it's got this part for the jewels. How do they do it? Can I really take it? Promise me you'll only use it for good. Helping others and stuff like that. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. 
Kong, if you please. sword now and the jewels storm rider the undead i should have known king Tabor was you all along you fools you have collected the jewels i need and brought them right to me we've gotten this far we can beat him give them to me of nimbleness. advantage.
healing serenade. Charlotte? Back here. Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. It was a group effort, but I'm glad I could help. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of his hero. Well, he's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just a lot going on. I can imagine getting Ethan ready for his dad, the shop, the spring festival. I'm always here if you want to talk about anything. You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Are you sure? If you want company, I'm- Said no! Fuck, don't you listen? Shit. This was a mistake. Where did that anger come from?
Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. Ryan, it's your fault. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? Oh, <gasps> 
Alex? <sighs> I'm okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Yes, I... I think so. Shit. Did I freak out on you? I'm sorry, Alex. I'm not sure what came over me. It's really okay. I'm a big girl. I can take it. Huh. I wrecked my sculpture. Seems so crazy in here, but I feel... How do I feel? Hey, go home. You're exhausted. I'm serious. It's okay. I'll see you tonight. by the Illuminati. That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom. Finally cracked it. <laughs> hey. Alex. So, how did things go with Charlotte? It was intense. But I think maybe she'll be okay. Honestly, I'm not sure how to even talk about it. That's okay. You don't have to. So please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but... Alex... We found a recording of Gabe's call. I should probably listen to that. I need to know. We're here for you. Here for you, okay? Type in safety. Mac? It's me. I'm working, Gabe. We can talk about what happened later. This isn't about that. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. They just ignored him. <laughs> it's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. Alex. You okay? We're gonna get him. I promise. What the hell? Oh, it doesn't matter. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. He's... Fuck. 
like that. I don't need to take this. I should follow her. We'll be right downstairs, all right? is taking these fuckers down. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. This is ACFC. How can we feed you? Is the good picking chicken thing still going on? It sure is. Nice. Uh, let me get a large order of the spicy nuggets. Excellent choice. And would you like the biscuit and gravy or the mashed potatoes and gravy? Oof. Uh, okay. I, uh... Sir? Oh, fuck. Um, sorry. Do you, do you need a minute? No. No, no. I'm, uh, gonna go with the bis... Uh, potatoes. Yeah, let's just do potatoes. You could do both for 50 cents extra. Oh my god. You still there? Yeah. No, um, no, that's okay, just the potatoes. Okay, I've got you down for a large order of spicy nuggets with potatoes. That'll be ready for you to pick up in about 30 minutes. Thanks. That was riveting. Mace Flowers, this is Riley. How can I help you? Hey, Bev, it's me. Mac, hey, what's up? I'm on lunch. Oh, you're not going to believe what J-Man did this morning with some of the new diet. Hey, so I'm not sure about this part here. It's Mac. Is that Gabe? Hey, Mac, can we talk later? I'm kind of busy. Busy how? Let's hang out when you get off, okay? Hold up, why is Gabe there? Okay, talk soon. I love you. Wait, Riley! Oh, Mac. Hi, Belt Plumbing, how can I help you? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm of Typhon Mining. I think we had one of your plumbers up here last week. Typhon Mining, uh, give me just one second to check our records. Yes, I have a record of a service call regarding some sewage backup. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, so, um, I don't think it's fixed. The field report I have says that the issue was diagnosed and solved. Can you describe what you're seeing? Oh, uh, you, you know, I, I really can't. Look, can you just send someone? I'll have someone out to you later this afternoon. Great. Have a nice day. Yeah, I doubt it. Nasty. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hi, Diane. It's Rose, down at Town Hall. Hey, Rose, how are you? Oh, I'm busy as a bee this time of year. You have a second? Some folks have come in here with some questions about the expansion and all that. I was hoping you could give me some answers to pass along to them. I'll do my best. What are the questions? Let's see here. Okay, first question. How many jobs do you expect to create by opening a second pit? We'll be starting with 25 new positions, but that number is expected to grow to 45 within the first year. Oh, give me just a moment here to jot that down. Alrighty, next up. A uh, number of questions regarding risks for pollution. Water, air quality, etc., etc. Anything you can offer there? You know, let me pass that on to our environmental outreach department. They'll get back to you with all the relevant fact and figures. Oh, sure, sure. No problem at all. And last one. They want to know if there will be more mining vehicles driving through town. Yes, we will be increasing our transportation needs somewhat with the expansion. But to minimize disturbance, we plan to direct drivers to stick to approved trucking routes. And of course, never after 6 o'clock. Never after 6. Thanks so much, Diane. That's all I have for you right now. My pleasure. Have a good one, Rose. You too. Diane is really good at pretending to be a person. Typhon Mining, this is Brandon. Hello, I'm calling from the Department of Land and Resources to confirm the inspection set for next week. Yeah, let me grab Diane for you. Thanks. This is Diane. Hi, Diane. I'm calling to... Confirm inspections? <laughs> yes. Did you have a chance to look over the email I sent? I did. Everything looks great. Glad to hear it. I'll see you Thursday then. Mm-hmm. Have a good one. You too. There must be a lot riding on these inspections. Typhon Safety. Mac? It's me. I'm working, Gabe. 
We can talk about what happened later. This isn't about that. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll halt the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. Lena, it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. So Typhon thought Rhea, whatever that is, was worth risking our lives. Let's hope Diane's email sheds more light. Lena. Hello, Diane. Is it safe to assume you've gotten your emotions under control? My emotions? Someone was killed last night because of a decision you made. I think... I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Me or you? Excuse me? Now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good. Good. Only one point of contact, and you've got him handled. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Speak to you soon. Okay. I refuse to feel bad for Diane in all this, but damn. HNB Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me... Yep. Been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number... Address significant others. We'll handle the rest. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I'll come by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's so gross that Typhon has people watched. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic, and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. A simple phone call? Can you speak more about that? Of course. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line would have alerted us that there were people in the danger zone, and we could have reacted accordingly and stopped the blasts. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is for. There's no danger whatsoever. All right. We'll be sure to include your comments. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I almost threw up listening to that. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Diane, it's, uh, it's... Jason. Hello, Deputy. You have good news for me? I suppose I do. You are officially cleared to continue regular operation. The county no longer considers your pit an active crime scene. Well, that's a huge relief. Now, to be clear, the investigation is still open and active. Typhon hasn't been cleared of anything yet. Sure, I understand. But can we start mining again? Yes, you can start mining again. Is there anything else? Nope. No, that's it. Well, thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Diane. You too. Seems a lot easier to get away with murder than you'd hope. Typhon Mining. Diane? Oh, hey, Joe. How are you? I'm good. Doing real good. So I have a pretty good list of candidates to go over with you. Looks like I've got 
40 names. Great work. When can we go over it? Uh, hey, Diane, can I be candid for a moment? Please. It's just, well, we've all been following the news and, I don't know, after that accident. Joe? I just want to be sure there really are positions waiting for these people. There's nothing to worry about. If you have qualified candidates to show me, I have jobs to offer them. Glad to hear it. You free Tuesday afternoon? Around three? Sure. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you later, Joe. I hope Typhon has a nice severance package. Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Damn. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so... bureaucratic? Rhea went off undetected. A second blast went off that night? What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea will be discovered. It was a diversion. They set off the blast that killed Gabe to cover up another one somewhere else. That's why they couldn't wait. If I can find out where that blast went off, it might tell me why it was so important. Diane has dossiers on the entire Haven Council. That's not creepy at all. Typhon knows about Eleanor's dementia. Shit. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Why would they set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? Didn't Typhon just have inspections around the old site? They weren't mining for anything. They were burying something. 